Pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to the Vlogathon 4.0. And yeah, of course. The Vlogathon 4.0 is pretty much just what it is. And I will say that with everything that's come about, there's lots of topics that still await, mind you that, but I certainly won't forget that I will in fact cruise through this whole entire part of the series with plenty of of confidence in mind. Care and attention are also things that I'm going to have to keep in mind and in check just so I can at least ensure that I'm going to do this right. So of course, here's another little installment of the Vlogathon 4.0, which is basically going to be me talking a little bit about the fact that sooner or later you might have heard me pretty much boast about how much money I've made. Well, simply put, there has been a lot of stuff that has happened in recent times. But of course none of those things seem to really falter on the many things that I've seemed to accomplish. And I was able to really pull a lot of things off. Including the fact that Kaiju Force Neo seems to have itself a pretty good profit. Especially within the confines of URG and also uh, the reviews department. Which doesn't necessarily just include IMDB based reviews but it can also include ones that are pretty much outside of my own comfort zone. So of course some of my reviews have actually gone on to, well, GWK, of course. If you're not aware of the process, then well, let me break it down for you. And if you don't really remember it, then well, let me just explain. In terms of, well, the Gaming with Kaiju Force Neo style reviews that I have, well, they aren't necessarily the ones where I give out ratings of any sorts, but of course I still highlight my personal ratings on whatever games that I seem to play. And the process for GWK has been going like this all year. I buy a certain game, usually off of a major retailer, and then I play through it as much as I can until I've at least met the minimum requirements of how much gameplay time that I put into each game. And then, of course, I have it shipped back to where they came from, and then basically the profit that comes from it is either by the credit that I got or by the balance that I seem to receive as an option. Of course, Amazon has been a pretty big way for me to go ahead and purchase copies of some games and then have them all sent back and then profit from them by receiving a refund money. So, of course, that's pretty much just been the process of how GWK's profits have worked. And most of the time whenever I receive the profits either by the credit bureau itself or by Amazon Balance, I tend to use this money as, well, a big part to save up for a lot of other things in life. Like if I wanted to go ahead and buy myself another pair of shoes, then that's exactly what I will be doing. And of course if I'm going to go ahead and buy anything else with that kind of money, then it's right up my alley. Just like that. But the bottom line is that, other than me profiting from GWK, and other than me profiting from the URG groundskeeping service that I got, I feel like that the profit margin is still a bit slimmed down. No doubt because of what the economy is going to be going through at this point, but I can't really talk much about anything that pretty much could mean backlash. I just won't do it. So... At this point, I can at least consider that I am in fact turning a profit rather than nothing at all, which is an especially good thing to keep in mind. So of course, in terms of well, the future, there are certainly going to be a lot of other games that I'll be playing on Gaming with Kaiju Force Neo, and we also can't forget that well, with all these new games that I'm being asked to play, or at least give out a review for, or feedback of any sorts, then well. I suppose gaming with Kaiju Force Neo might actually be here way longer than I pretty much expect. Like I've said before though, gaming with Kaiju Force Neo is still going to be a pretty big series itself. But at this point I can at least confirm that it seems to be getting even bigger than it usually has been. So I don't really know what else to expect but at this point I can at least confirm that GWK is certainly going to be having a lot of things that I'll probably be very excited about. But until anything else happens, then well, please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.